A major cold front swept through the United States and made its way down to Mexico earlier this week, causing record low temperatures and dumped snow in many localities over northern Mexico, causing widespread power blackouts in more than 23 states as far down as the state of Mexico and opened huge safety risks for a lot of people. The government has come under much scrutiny for this, and the story tonight is why this has happened. The situation in Mexico is bad, but in Texas, the situation is at the level of humanitarian crisis, with some reports saying that the Texas power system was within minutes or seconds of total shutdown across the state. People are struggling to stay warm. Millions have been without power since Monday, and the state is still seeing freezing temperatures and snow. There are many reasons for this. First, Texas decided not to connect their power to other states so they would not have the answer to federal regulations. There has been no way in this crisis for other states' power grids to help Texas recover. Second, they deregulated this energy sector in the 1990s, meaning they took it out of government control and gave it to private industry. Because these industries want to be profitable, they have failed to do any preventative maintenance and plan for these types of emergencies not smart in this era of climate change. In order to get power back on, the governor announced a full shutdown of natural gas exports to Mexico. Why is that a problem? Because more than 60% of Mexico's electricity is generated by natural gas imported from Texas. Yes, 60%. And although Mexico has reserves for this type of issue, the government did not act quickly enough to use it which is why grandma in a town of over 1,200 kilometers away from the U.S. border may not have, may have not been able to watch the most recent episode of Fuego Ardiente and may not know if Gabriel finds his missing brother and if his partners and friends, the Ferrers, were the ones that kidnapped him. All joking aside, it's more serious than that, but it is fair that Texas Governor Greg Abbott decides to shut the gas in his state to let Mexico suffer. And I'm sorry, but that's fucked up. And that's why we deserve the name Pinche Gringo. So if another American gets offended, like, ah, Pinche Gringo, that's so offensive. This is why the Mexican government should press this issue and find other reliable sources of its gas production. In the Rio Grande Valley, it is reported that the Mexican cell towers are functioning while the U.S. towers are out of service. That's right. It seems like Mexico has better infrastructure than Texas right now. And there was big controversy yesterday when pictures surfaced of Texas Senator Ted Cruz leaving the cold weather of Houston and heading to Cancun with his family during the humanitarian crisis. His reasoning, he was offered half price tickets to Coco Bongo. No, no, actually he said, and, and I'm I'm completely honest with you. He said that he was dropping off his kids for vacation and being a really good dad and then planning to come back the next day. We know that is not true. And really, Ted Cruz, I couldn't even get my dad to take me to baseball practice. Come on. I mean, look at your luggage. It was like a blown up beach ball and floaties that made it so big. Yeah, right. You were packing for the weekend. Liar, liar. Bermuda shorts on fire. And of course, this pinche gringo is always a hypocrite. He has publicly ridiculed a number of politicians on social media for vacationing during a crisis. Are you kidding me, Ted Cruz? Wake up. 